right, so welcome back to Writer's Block. Today we... Uh, uh, you got the so, wrong guy for writer's block, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's our show. We just, talk, we just take writers and we, we, we talk about their, their career. And I usually get to talk to all the film stars, but I mean, it's great to have an author with 71 books in 30 years, you know. How uh, do you keep the creativity? Like, how do you not run out of stories with all, with all that you've I, You know, I have, a, I have a thing, a, an idea file in my office about that thick, and, and uh, I... If I never had another idea, I still got enough to, to take me to my 150th birthday. Wow. Um, I, my strengths are, I, I have a big imagination. I'm always thinking of new ideas. I, I wrote two on the plane out here, two ideas. And so that's never been a problem for me. How long does it usually take to flush it from the idea process to you? To you well, I'm big on outlines. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and I, I, everybody isn't, but I think if you're gonna write commercial, it's, it's really good. And if you read one of my outlines, which can run 60, 70, 80 pages, you got the story. I mean, you could read it and go, oh, you know, it's, they're real page turners, right, right. the outlines. And I don't stick to it religiously. Uh, I'll change things. But it's really good when you sit down in front of that blank page, you got another page there that's telling you what to do today. Right, right. Now, Tyler Perry is the second person to, to play uh, adaption of your most popular uh, character, Alex Cross. Yeah. What's the difference in the adaption today as in uh, when Morgan Freeman did it? I, you know, I, look, Morgan Freeman is Morgan Freeman, great actor. Uh, Tyler's a, a great actor too, but the character, the, the character, the Tyler character is much closer to the character in the book than, than in Along Came a Spider and Kiss the Girls. Okay. This book is closer to the spirit of the books. It has more action and, and Tyler is just, He's bigger, he's more physical. It's more emotional because the family's in it. And, and that's, I think that's the thing that's, that's very different about this movie. It's, you'd expect it to be suspenseful, and it is. You expect some action, and it has it. But it's also emotional. Um, um, I mean, what happens and how it, how it affects his family. Right, right. And, and Tyler does it great. Yeah. He is emotional, and that's one of his strengths. Right. I wish I wish he could have been a little funnier in here. I mean, the, the script allowed him to be funnier because that's another strength that he has. Right. Maybe right. in the next movie. Maybe. I hope we do get to see him. In yeah, a, I do another, too. I do too. Another occurrence. Now, well, now, if we don't, it'll be his fault. Cause we're, <laughs> we're ready. We're ready, right? All right. Well, now, Cross is, is your most popular character and a recurring one, but you also have like Michael Bennett, Michael Bennett, and Maximum Ride. Do you do you think that any of these other characters? you know, would be brought to the screen. Do you have a favorite character out of your novels that you, you've created? Well, there's a lot. We have a TV series working with Michael Bennett, which I think is going to go on next year. Uh, we have the pilot and everything. Um, my kids, real little kids books, uh, you know, like middle school, middle school, the worst years of my life. I just finished a script. We've got uh, a director involved with that. I think that's very real. We have the financing for it. Uh, Maximum Ride is at Universal. Uh, Avi Arad, who did Spider-Man, and you know he's a big producer. He's right. involved with it. So you know, trick with Maximum Ride is it's it's pricey. Yeah. It's a hundred and some million dollars. So, uh, so I think we've got a lot of possibilities. We're uh, we're hot. You also give back a lot in one of your your programs, the Read Kiddo Read, uh, deals with uh, children's literacy and everything else. Why do, why do you think it's important? You know, in this age of cutting all this. Uh, yeah, school no, budgets I that mean, we, look. Anybody watching your kids, man? First of all, I mean, I think with respect to your kids, you got to understand that it's that it's your job, it's our job to get our kids reading. It's not the school's job. Right. So we got to go out and find books, you know, for them. Go to the library, whatever the heck it is. And it doesn't have to be boring books. It can be really cool books. There are a lot of cool books for kids to read. Right. But the more they read, the better. You know, when, when my son was eight, he's a bright boy, but he wasn't a big reader. And my wife and I said that summer, we said, "You're going to read every day." He said, do I have to? I said, yeah, unless you want to sleep in a garage, you have to eat, read. That's the right. deal here. That's how we roll in this house. And um, that summer he read, we went out and found good books for him, cool books for him, you know, Percy Jackson and whatever, Maximum Ride. And that summer he read like 12 books. He really liked nine of them. Mm -hmm. And his reading scores went through the roof. And it was just a summer. It wasn't like he had to read like four hours a day. Right. Read like an hour a day, man. Yeah. It's cool. You know, instead it's of the holiday season, you know, instead of just video games and stuff, get them a book. Yeah. It's cool. Get them, a, but get them a cool book. Don't get them Charles Dickens. Dickens is great, but most kids aren't ready for it. Yeah. Um, 
and I had in the series that I have the middle school. So I think that kind of eight to thirteen. That's when they got to learn, and and it can be fun for them. But if they don't, they're so behind the eight ball. It becomes very hard to get through high school. It becomes very hard to get out of high school and get a, a, an okay job. We got a, some choices. It becomes very hard to get into college. I mean, you know all this, but. Yeah. Now, sometimes the parents aren't going, you know, you know they'll go, well, I got to teach my kid how to throw a ball, which is cool. I got to teach him how to ride a bike, which is cool. But even more important, you got to make sure that they can read. More yeah. important than riding a bike and throwing a ball for most kids. Yeah. I like, do all three. Yeah, do all, do all three. three. But make sure that, 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 that you're helping them read. Well, it's hard to find a bookstore these days, but that's I found well. A great you can't go online. You can't go online. You can go to libraries. Libraries are still there. You know. But I found a great author, man. Thanks for Thank thanks you. for talking to me. Nice to meet you. It's been yep. a pleasure. For more exclusive coverage of our latest news and entertainment, be sure to subscribe to our Black Tree TV channel, and don't forget to click on either arrow on either side to watch one of our most commented videos.